My name's Anthony Robert Garcia. I'm Akshit Panapura, uh, but I go by ACE. I'm Mane. My major is software engineering. I'm a CS major and a math minor. And I'm a fourth year computer science major. Online learning has been uh, a challenge in a sense, you know, it's very different than traditional like in classroom um, education. I always like avoided it before when things were in person. Whenever I had like a chance to take an online course, I'd always avoid it because I just, I'd rather just learn in person. I think it's easier because you, you have access to your classmates, your professor, um, and also just learning in like a environment that's not home is definitely a lot easier. <laughs> Never really felt like the education I received was being able to be like applicable when I go into the field of study that I want to. I'm currently applying for my master's and so whatever I learn in these few years is really important for me to work up to you know what I want to research myself and I just it's felt pretty like away from me. This past year that we've been at home I really haven't retained that much new information or like learned anything at school and that's mostly because rather than I feel like learning and just going to class, sitting every day, retaining the information, I think I'm just turning in assignments before they're due just to get the grade now. I personally am a student who likes to have lectures in person where I can interact with you know, either a teacher or my anyone sitting next to me to like understand the material better because I'm a more of a vocal person. So I like to work out the problem as I'm talking or, you know, as I'm hearing someone else talk to me. And then so without that, like la with that lack of connect, you know, I haven't really had any friends in any of my classes. And I think that's one of the things that makes college the most fun is like you're able to learn, but you're also be able to be like next to your peers. It's been like super lonely sitting at home all the time. But at the same time, like I've gotten closer to my family, so I can't really, you know, put a price on whether it's good or bad, but I've really had a rough time with it is what I can say. Uh, well, I actually loved commuting. I like driving, but at the same time, I, like you do save a lot of money when you don't commute, like a lot of gas money. I don't like need to get lunch out anymore. Or I don't get like coffee every single day on campus. So. It was about a 30 to 40 minute drive each time for class. Um, so that made that aspect um, a little bit easier. I haven't found it harder to pay attention um, to lectures or anything like that. And I think part of that too, is that the professors do, at least in the courses that I've taken, the professors make the lectures um, interactive. They force us to ask questions, not only to themselves as they're teaching, um, but to the other students as well, and go out into breakout rooms, discuss things and actually do um, in-class activities, whether it's creating, you know, architecture diagrams or structural diagrams, things like that for the different software products that we're looking at. It's very different and it's being affected differently than, than other ones through all of this. Um, but after graduation, I feel pretty confident and pretty optimistic, optimistic about the job market after graduation. I think there's going to be a huge uptick and a huge need um, for all of the skills that we're learning in our courses. Because I did get an internship over this past summer and like they extended it to work full, like part-time during the next year. So this whole year that I've been in school and then they also like made an offer. So like once I'm done working with them like this until I graduate, after that I just go full-time with them. So I definitely did get lucky with that because I will have like a full-time job once I graduate. And I just think that's going to continue to grow as things you know, kind of stay virtual for some aspects and then other things that don't. The you know, job market is always looking for computer scientists, um, especially with the math background. Like, it's kind of really up to me how far I go and how much I, you know, I can show where I learn. Um, it's not a lot about schooling, especially in the IT field. It's, you mean, you can have a master's, right? And that will be whatever, but you can even be, you know, like the upper manager or whatever that as long as you keep that technical ability up. So I'm not too scared about getting into the work. I think the, f the most scared I'll be is getting into my first job because that's where you start your journey. I have like a lot of friends that are, that haven't had internships that are like trying to apply to places and like they're having a little bit of struggle of like getting their foot in the door. But I also feel like, especially as a computer science major, I think it's definitely a lot easier to get a job right now because a lot of places are still hiring as usual. It's going to be hard, but I don't think it's going to be to the point where I have to reevaluate like where I am in life kind of thing. Like I'm going to be able to work it out as long as I keep up with myself. 
initially I was always kind of like looking forward to like a graduation ceremony and things like that. Um, what I think will happen this time is I think there will probably not be like an in-person graduation ceremony or anything like that. I mean, I've got the, like, I'm going to be getting the degree end of this semester, but I don't know where it'll take me kind of thing. So um, I'm excited to graduate. I'm excited to move on. I felt, I feel kind of like just done with undergraduate. I'm starting, I want to get back into my work and not take classes that have to relate to like just computer science as a whole, just to get by. Like, I want to go into my field. Which I guess I'd say I, I'm bummed about, but I don't think is like a huge thing for me personally. Um, I think it's something that I would probably enjoy, um, but it's something I'm not going to like beat myself up over not being able to attend in that sense. But like, it would be nice to have like somehow like a social distance, like graduation. I feel like if there's like bars and stuff open out there right now, I feel like trying to set up like an in-person graduation that's just, you know, like the seats are far apart or something, like shouldn't be as hard. Like obviously, like, I feel like there has to be regulations of how they do it. And that's obviously up to CSUSM and they need to see how they organize that. It would be nice though, to have like in-person. Like it'd make the process more exciting. Like learning online for a whole year. Like at first I was like, okay, I could get through this first semester when it first happened, like in March. But then when it started like extending in each semester, they'd keep sending us emails like, oh, this next semester is also going to be online. It definitely got like really discouraging. And I think it also like killed the excitement of like kind of graduating as well. Because I remember I was like very excited. Well, I'm first generation, so I was very excited to graduate. Ever since I was like a freshman, I was like, oh, I can't wait till like my commencement ceremony and everything. But that's pr probably not going to happen. So like there's also kind of like, this discouragement that came with things being online. So like right now it's March, I'm about to graduate in May, and I kind of don't feel like I'm going to. It's definitely been challenging and I really do wish that this past year was not online, but that's what it is.